Kevin Hines. He's a biologist with New York's Department of Environmental Conservation, and today he's getting ready to dissect a bald eagle's body. Well, sometimes we look at eagles that are considerably worse postmortem condition than this, and sometimes we get them fairly fresh. Dead birds like this one are taken to his lab near Albany. There he performs an examination. Today's results show lead bullet fragments inside the bird, along with deer hairs and fibers. The cause of death was lead poisoning. Environmental experts like Heinz are seeing a disturbing trend, an increase in lead-related deaths among bald eagles. And now it's getting worse because the population is growing, so there's more out there to die. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service estimates there are 143,000 bald eagle nesting pairs nationwide. The Raptor Center at the University of Minnesota has been keeping track of the lead problem. Last year, they took in 183 injured bald eagles who were brought to the center for healing and care. Executive Director Julia Ponder says close to 90 percent of the eagles they take in have lead exposure and 25 to 30 percent have lead poisoning. And I can also tell you that of the 25 to 30 percent that have lead toxicity, most of those die in our center. Here in the Great Lakes region, there are more than 3,000 nesting pairs. And while lead poisoning numbers are relatively small, scientists say it's concerning. In 2009, New York State recorded two lead-related deaths. Last year, there were nine. Kristen Schuler is a wildlife disease ecologist at Cornell University. And while it might not be at a rate that it is affecting their population, because we're finding that oftentimes it's adult birds, the birds that are now of breeding age, that those are the ones that are getting lead poisoning. Schuler is working with Heinz on the issue. She suggests that lead contamination could contribute to a stunt in population growth of bald eagles. So you could potentially be having impacts on the population where it's not growing quite as quickly as it would have if you don't see that mortality. Schuler says eagles feast on the animals that were shot with lead ammunition. They see it as an easy meal, but it's usually a toxic one, with lead fragments lodged inside the carcasses. So it's not something that the bird necessarily notices while it's eating, but then when it gets into the stomach and the the lead is dissolved and taken up into the bloodstream, then it can start to have different neurological problems. The key to solving the problem, Schuler says, is education and discouraging the use of lead ammunition for big game hunting. Lead shot for waterfowl hunting has already been banned nationwide. But she says traditional lead ammunition is cheaper than the non-lead alternative. The National Shooting Sports Foundation opposes efforts to ban traditional ammo. They cite the lack of scientific data that shows population impacts. But ultimately, there's life at the center of this issue. Every spring, more eagle pairs in the Great Lakes region give birth. Like this family, its large nest is set in a tree on the edge of a farmer's field near Lake Ontario. Inside the nest, a brown eaglet played peekaboo with a group of bird watchers. Oh, he's up on the edge. Much. Yeah, yeah much, so much. Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. About four or five birders watch in awe as the eaglet moves in his nest waiting for his parents to return with supper. 